United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures, we are comics. Please note, Hydra have been unsubscribing UCU family members. These are some of the reports that I have been receiving from the United Comic Universe family members. So please check to see if you are still subscribed to the channel. Also share our videos to others so they can see how awesome and different our channel is. Also like up. Each like up is a morale boost to all that is in the fight to take down Hydra. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified on the upcoming comic news. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining us. Please tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the fight to take down Hydra. Good morning UCU, United Comics Universe. This is your host Jonan Show. I got my hot cocoa. Burgers will be smoked today. This morning, 5.45 a.m. in Big Bear. Shout out to you out there in Big Bear. It's a nice frigid morning, but I like the winter, so that's not too bad. Coming at you with another article from comicbook.com. And that's comicbook.com. Great articles. The title, Thor Almost Didn't Get His Eye Back in Avengers Infinity War by J.K. Schmidt again. Great articles. January the 9th. Okay, let's dig into this. Throughout the Marvel Semantic Universe, few characters have been dealt a rougher hand than the God of Thunder as Thor, as he lost both of his parents, his brother and his sister, who tried to kill him. Lost his hammer multiple times, was put into a bit of funk after battling Thanos. But one of the most recognizable changes in the movies occurs in Thor Ragnarok, when Hela damages one of his eyes. He later gets a cybernetic replacement courtesy of Rocket from out of his butt in Avengers Infinity War. Nasty. But it looks like that wasn't always in the plans for Marvel Studios. Really? Really, Rocket? He could have watched that damn thing. In the book, Avengers Endgame, the art of the movie, we get a look at different designs of Bro Thor. You got to check these images out. They're on comicbook.com. We'll throw it up here for you for someone to check it out. <coughs> Hint to the editor. <coughs> yeah, can you hook us up? Thanks. In advance. Where he's all of his big Lebowski-esque glory, though he's still rocking the eye patch. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. Got it? Got a good look? Okay, here we go. Let's continue. Moving right along. This makes it clear that Marvel Studios considering keeping the eye patch of Thor, making it a somewhat permanent mark for the character's future in the MCU. Concept artist Wesley Burt revealed that the change had yet to be made for Infinity War script, meaning they were planning the eye patch for the Avengers Endgame. He didn't have the cyborg eye at this point in the script that he gets it in Infinity War. So I was still giving him eye patches or giving him the sunglasses with one dark lens, Burt explained. Avengers Endgame co-writer Christopher Marcus previously explained the decision to alter Thor for the film came out of the changes made in his solo movies. Basically, from his, mov his first movie, he is headed for the throne. He has all this burden of purpose on him, Marcus said, to the Los Angeles Times, and so his arc in all of these movies is learning to let go of what people expect of him and embrace what he himself feels he is. The writer continues, it turns out Hemsworth is a really good actor. He's not just gorgeous, he's funny. It's been such a great second half for the MCU for him. I'm really, really happy that, that all that came about. It remains to be seen if the changes made in the character will stick for Thor, Love and Thunder. The next film in Odin's saga, Odin's son saga, we won't have to wait much longer to find out. However, because some exciting news is beginning to develop on that front, according to new report actor Christian Bale. Yeah, I know you've heard about the hype of Christian Bale, Beta Ray Bill, yeah, I've heard about it too. Christian Bale in talks to join the film in a major role. Though there are no details who the former actor 
former Batman actor, will play. We'll find out as Thor Love and Thunder gears up for its release on November the 5th, 2021. Wow, just seems so far away at this point. Jonin Show here with my opinion. Well, what do you feel? Do you feel that um they should have kept the eye patch? Or should they have um did what they did do and give him another eye? Ah, I don't know. I kind I kind of like Pirate Thor. I don't know. I kind of like it with the one eye, but then at the same time, you know, you get so wrapped up in these characters, it's like ah, I'd rather him have both eyes because I wouldn't want him to not have one of his eyes personally to him, you know, a, a, you know, for his own benefit. If this character actually existed, but I would say ultimately, let him have his eye. Why not? Let him have his eye. Do you agree with me? If not, let me know. You just rather see him with that eye patch on because he did look mighty damn cool. And I think uh, even Gamora seemed to like it when she was feeling all over him. And the, uh, yeah, Star Lord didn't appreciate it too much when she was <laughs> feeling all over him. And um, what the hell movie was that? <laughs> Endgame. <laughs> I believe it's Endgame. <laughs> if not, you know, let me know down below because I'm sure you're going to say something about it. Great. All right, that's basically how I feel about it. I found this article kind of interesting. I'm a big Thor fan, and I'm very excited about Love and Thunder, and um, I'm also pretty excited about Christian Bale joining uh, Marvel and um, playing a role. Whatever role he may play, it will be great. Though I'm not a big fan of Christian Bale personally, however, I am a fan of his ability in acting. I think he's an exceptional actor, one of the very, very best, if you ask me. But, um... Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about more Thor. Yes, I am. Excited to see more Thor. Excited to see Christian Bale. Uh, Beta Ray Bill. Would he make a, ba a good Beta Ray Bill? Hmm. I think he could pretty much play anything they give him because he can figure it out. He's a very intelligent, very talented actor. But, I don't know. I, 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 I want to see him play something different than Beta Ray Bill. I just don't want him as Beta Ray Bill. That's just my opinion. I know he would do a great job at whatever, but I, I, it just doesn't catch me as, yeah, Christian Bale, Beta Ray Bill, I'm excited. No, it, it just don't do that for me. So th this might be a, you know, a, a psyop. They might be just pretending that he's going to play Beta Ray Bill, and I'm hoping that's the case. <laughs> so that's why I'm bringing this up. I'm hoping it's another Marvel psyop, <laughs> and uh, they're just building up the Christian Bale hype coming to uh, Marvel and they'll find a good role for him, but I, I don't think Beta Ray Bill should be the one that he plays, you know. Um, if you noticed in Thor Ragnarok, you see the statues with the heads of all the champions on the side of of the uh, palace of the Grand Master. You see uh, what looks to be uh, the Hulk, which was his current champion in that movie. You see uh, Beta Ray Bill. You see what appears to be Ares, I believe. And some other figure that I can't really make out, but based on the top of the antennas on the head, it, it kind of looked like it could be a Nihilist, but I don't recall a Nihilist ever having anything to do with the um, Contest of Champions. So I'm, I'm not really sure um, who that character may be. But Christian Bale as anything would be fine with me because he's a phenomenal actor and I know he's going to make sure that it's a captivating performance. And I think it's good to, to have another great high caliber actor in the Marvel roster so people can get over all this um, comic book film anxiety and accept them more as they are because they are cinema they are film and most of all it's popular we like it this is what we want and you know what I say give the people what they want because we are the people and all these people work for us like it or not that's the truth and again, this has been Joan and Show, United Comics Universe. Please hit that share button so that we can sneak through the gates of the dark algorithm. Hit that like button if you liked anything about this video. And comment if you like. And please do not forget to subscribe and turn on that notification button because it may be turned off. So if you already subscribed, if you already hit that notification button, Please do us a really, 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 really big favor. Take a quick look to see if you're still set for notifications because we are getting reports that people are being unnotified.
and I don't think that's fair. If I can, if I select a notification button, it should stay the way I have chosen for it to be. Do not unsubscribe me without my permission, taking away my free will, my freedom of speech, my freedom to do what I want to do. I ain't hurting nobody. Don't you unsubscribe. Don't you turn my notification button up. What's wrong with you? I'm going to smack you in the face, send you to the store to get me one of them big belly burgers. United Comics Universe. We are comics. Heroes. Hydra has been a real pain lately, causing glitches in the Matrix, cutting our communications, and unsubbing our subs. To make sure you haven't been a victim of their saboteurs, check to make sure you're still subscribed to our channel so we can continue our fight against Hydra together. So please leave a comment down below on what you like or what you think or what you love about this video. This is very important. Please share our videos. We are posting videos up every single day. But Hydra have taken us out of suggestion feed. So please share so we can beat Hydra. Also let them know we cannot be stopped. Please join the fight. Share our videos so our channel can get out there. Thank you and please continue to show your support. Also please drop $5 at our Patreon to help advance the channel. The link will be down below. Don't forget to join our United Comic Universe Facebook group join and have fun and talk about the things we love which is comics because here at united comic universe we do it differently we do it real we do it for the fans why we are comics. shut up and give me one of those big belly burgers united comic universe store is now open where you can get awesome gear from leggings to hoodies when you feel a little cold at night and the fireplace is just not working for you Drink some of your delicious hot chocolate in your UCU mug. Drink it up. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, wait. When your feet is feeling a little cold at night, put on your United Coming Universe socks to get the warmness only the United Coming Universe socks can give you. Are you ready to gear up and take on Hydra? Well, the links is down below. Hit those links to gain access to all the awesome gear for you can join the fight to help take down Hydra. This has been United Common Universe. Remember, we are comics. So, you like the video? Duh! That is why they're here, because they like the video. <laughs> awesome! So you subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to hit that notification bell, and also leave a comment down below. Also, click one, or two, or three, or one of these playlists is going to be put somewhere around here so you'll see them to get more comic news. This has been another awesome video brought to you by United Comic Universe. Remember, we are comics.